Hi, this is Matt from Sensu Brush, and I've got my Sensu Solo here, and I want to give you a quick look at Fresh Paint, which is an awesome Windows 8 uh, painting and drawing application that you can download for free, which is pretty exciting. Um, it has a beautiful user interface, and you've got your tools across the top here. I'm just going to walk you through them quickly. You've got an eraser, a blend tool. You can change the size of those up here. There's a little dash circle that indicates how big that's going to be. Over here is your main tools are uh, watercolor brushes, and you see you've got five different ones. The oil brushes, which are awesome. you got five of those. Pencils, again, you got five of them. And these, uh, we'll, we'll go back and look at these quickly, um, all of these quickly, uh, and you've got oil pastels as well. To the right of those, whenever you select one of those, you're going to um, bring up a color palette. So the pencil and the pastel has this color palette, and both the brushes get a mixing palette. This palette is uh, really nifty, by the way. So let's just quickly um, show you what these tools look and feel like. So the watercolor brush, um, we'll just grab one of these. You know, it feels, it actually feels kind of airbrushy. The oil brush is fantastic. Um, I'm just going to show you how each of these brushes acts a little bit differently. You can, you can make all these larger. This is a bright which acts a little bit differently so they're really mimicking um, artist brushes here and the filbert so you can that you definitely get different textures here and then a fan super nice um, pencils oh, let me I'm gonna jump over here and you, you can when you uh, switch this menu over you can also clear the Clear the canvas. Oops. The pencils are different softnesses. So you go from the hardest ones on the left, and they keep getting softer as you move across on the to the right. And so this is probably the equivalent of a six B or something like that. And then the oil pastels. Oh, let me just uh, clear that canvas again. These are really nice. And I can't tell what's different um, about these. They, you know, aside from you've got a round tip, uh, the ones on the left have a round tip, and the ones on the right have a square tip. Other than that, I, I can't tell um, what's different about them. But it's an, this is actually a lot of fun to use. And, you know, I didn't show you the watercolor, all the watercolor brushes, did I? So let's clear those away. And see, that's got a little bit different effect there. This is more airbrushy, the fan. And then you got a wide wash. Ooh, sorry. Let's clear that away. And I'm just going to quickly show you some of the palette and painting around. So the, it's the, the uh, oil brushes are they're awesome, in case I didn't say that before. I love using these. You get, um, when you start mixing in some colors, let's just, well, actually, we'll change this brush over here to that. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see this. Um, it's really viscous. So it's, it feels very much like um, real paints. It's quite awesome. Oh, oh, I forgot to show you these down here. So you got an undo button, and you've got a shrink the screen, undo, redo, and then this is your color picker. You can drag this around, select a color, and now they'll have that color. 
So as soon as you target in, uh, it grabs that color and applies it to whatever tool you're using at that at, at that time. And oh, and then this is the fan. Sorry, I forgot to show this as well. So uh, you know, just like when you're using uh, real oils, um, you can add too many to them uh, with a, and, and it gets kind of messy. So there are points where you decide, okay, this is right where I want it. I want to dry it. Well, in this case, you can virtually dry it by tapping the fan. And now um, this uh, surface is all dry and can take more, uh, more different uh, media on top of it. So for example, if I hadn't dried it, this watercolor would not work over the top of it. It would be blocked. So um, it's pretty handy. going to clear that away and go back and do these oil pastels quickly. This is a, uh, I just love these things. I like doing real sketchy stuff, so. Oh, that's almost something. That's, yeah. That's some sort of a person. Oops. I'm going to pop back here. Just look at this mixing palette for a minute. So you've got, say, say we, we've, uh, we'll just choose this uh, filbert over here. Um, and we can mix colors. So we've got orange. We're going to add it into this palette right here. But maybe, well, actually, we'll take white. We're going to lighten it up a little bit. Now, a cool thing is happening. So I'm pulling this white in and I'm mixing it. And you can see, this is the color picker icon here, and then also you can see um, what your brush mark is going, your brush is gonna look like here. So lots of times with real brushes, you're gonna, you might load your one side of your, the tip of your brush with one color and turn it over and then tap it and grab another color. And then as you paint, those are mixing. Well, you know, they're, they've, got that going on right here in fresh paint and it is awesome let's uh i'm gonna switch up over to here i mean that's just uh, that is so cool okay so it doesn't look that great but the effect is great. I mean, my painting doesn't look that great. So you can, you can clear that away. And uh, we'll do that again. We'll just, well, actually, let's uh, light a little bit more in. So look at that. We've actually got three colors loaded in on that. It's getting a little excessive. And then it's remembering uh, what one we had before. I'm just going to clear that off. You can save them. They're, they're popping. Those, those mixes that I've done are appearing here in the palette. A little FYI there. Oh, let me show you the blending tool. Sorry, I get kind of lost in this stuff. So you can erase, you know what erasing is going to do, so I'm not even going to show you that. But um, So you can blend. It's very nice. It's sort of like using a uh, palette knife. I mean, you don't get any variance off of that, but, um, you know, as far as uh, types of marks it makes, but it's very satisfying here. So this, this app is a blast to use with our Sensu brush. Um, obviously it works with any stylus. But if you need a brush. So, fun. So there you go. And then you can just save it off uh, and send it to your friends. But it's got a beautiful interface. It's fresh paint. It's available. Um, for your Windows 8 devices, it's free. 
I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's free and it's wonderful. Um, thanks for taking a look. This is Matt from Sensu Brush using our Sensu Solo here. Happens to be a purple one. And hope you all have a good day. Bye.